Yo, what is up you guys, Gamebreaker God here. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can level up your character to max level as quick as possible. <laughs> it's funny I'm saying that, but my character isn't actually max level yet, right? It's 158, and my highest level character here is actually Gohan. The thing is, guys, I'm not trying to get to max level anytime soon because, uh, one, the game will be less challenging and I'm really trying to fight the villainous enemies so I'm trying to fight these guys when I'm lower level because as soon as I get to their level they become really weak and it'll be too easy so I'm keeping my characters low for now and try and do these challenges without leveling my characters to max level but since we're done talking here I'm gonna show you guys how you can get to max level real fast I'm gonna do this a few times, like I said, let me save right now so I can actually load up my save and get my level back because I don't want to be a level any higher than this, I want to just stay there for now until something stronger comes up, but um, this is what you're gonna need to do, for example. You guys are gonna have to do play through the story until you get a contact, um, you get a phone call from Bulma, I think first, she calls you in regards to meeting an android that's gonna train you or something and then you will get a call directly from Android 21 saying you can come and check out training mode at the Capsule Corp. Capsule Corp, for those of you that don't know where it is, it's on the map, just open it up by pressing the options button, actually that's on computer, I don't really know what that is for PS4, I played on PC, but hey, bring up the map and head up to Capsule Corp right here, press the come to Capsule Corp and um, it should bring you, oh that just glitched right there, it should bring you right here as soon as you get here, turn right, right here and you'll see Android 21 you should get to Android Saga um, after a few main story missions she'll call you to come in to fight Bonyu and so, for those of you, you that don't know who Bonyu is um, this is the special training you gotta do this woman right here, she comes at level 40 and you have to clear each level to get the higher level okay this one will level you faster than anything else in the game okay I know the villainous enemies will probably give you a lot more XP than her but the problem is they take a lot longer to kill than Bunyu will and if you guys gonna wanna kill the villainous enemies faster like the the higher level vill villainous enemies you guys are gonna need to do this level this grind on Bunyu so if you're level 40 or level 30 below or le below level 40, you're gonna wanna do level 40 until you get to level like 50. Once you get to level 50, you then um, start doing level 75 and try. Because I started doing it when I was like level 50-ish. Um, I started beating her ass and getting that extra XP until I turned like level 110. And then once I got to level 110, I started doing this. But guys you gotta bear in mind she's gonna be really tough in the beginning but as soon as you start getting higher level than she is she'll she'll just become a piece of cake also for those of you that don't know these training rooms right here like where it says modify you guys are gonna need to collect gear like I mean um, items for these levels so to for, for you guys to be able to to like perform these um, training uh, rooms you guys are gonna need to collect what you see on the screen on the right side D metals as well so bear in mind you will need to use a lot of D metals so make sure you collect them all if you can I struggled doing this because I ran out of D metals in the end and then I if you watch my list my previous stream that I did a few days ago maybe yesterday or something um, I ran out of D metals and I had to collect them over again so make sure you have a lot of D metals and speak to Master Roshi, he will give you a lot of gifts as well as open your encyclopedia which is by pressing start and then pressing triangle this will bring you here and it should give you a few um, gifts uh, which will include D-Metals alright 
Okay. So the second thing you guys are gonna need to want to do so, now, are you, you guys ready are gonna to need begin to begin your training. Upgrade all of these up to level ten. But if you don't have the pieces, that's fine. You don't really need to do it. But I would recommend you do because they give you really amazing um, passive abilities. So let me just show you. Once you get to like, I think even just up to level five, you'll get these passive abilities. So actually, I'm not sure off by heart which ones you get first. So, but are you ready to the begin ones you want to focus on for real, for real. Uh, where is it? Where does it say what you get? Does this actually even tell you what you get? Oh, right here. So you you make the rooms right, and this will unlock the train. And the train will give you these passive abilities. So, Umbrilled Power, which drains your health over the course of the battle for tremendous power. So, you get 20% damage dealt, but you slowly lose health. And then when you upgrade it, you get up to 40%, guys. So, that's 40% damage boost to what you already have on your base stats. That's a lot. Don't really care about this, but you have to do it anyway to unlock this, the third one. So... Do not worry about this. Don't even bother, um, what you call it. Don't even bother upgrading it. Just leave it as it is. And then Merciless. This deals more damage to lower level and enemies than you. Which means, if you go past level 41, Bonyu is already lower level than you. Which means you're going to be doing, again, if you upgrade this to max level, you'll get to like 40% or 30%. I'm not quite sure. I'll tell you guys in a second. Um, you will start dealing a lot of damage, but it tells you what level you need to be For you guys to be able to use this so make sure you level up on Bunny and um, You guys are gonna be okay if you level up with Bunny because it will be really fast um, Perfect perfect harmony is good because the more combos you deal on her the more damage you, you deal anyway So right now you could be on like 90 to 100 percent damage boost already and um, if you upgrade it, I think it goes up to 30 to 40% as well. And you'll just get a lot more damage on her. This self-medication is only good if you're trying to do villainous enemies. Every time you go into surge mode, you're literally going to start regenerating your own health. Which is crazy. You don't need no Senzo being nothing. As long as you are okay with like... Uh, dodging and everything guys, you guys will not need no Senzo beans. You'll be okay. So basically just equip... Unequip any passive abilities you have currently and equip these that I've showed you so far. So equip Do not put this one on until you're like much higher than Bonnie so you can one shot her in one Kamehameha, which I will show you how to perform and uh, Make sure your beam attacks are maxed out as well guys So make for, for you guys to be able to pull this off You need to make sure your beam attacks are maxed out and if they're not maxed out as in level 3 Just use whichever one is more powerful and you should be all right um, so you equip that one merciless perfect harmony and uh, this is okay but you don't really need it for now for this grind indomitable spirit you don't even need it because you don't you don't want to let her deal more than 25 I mean more than 75% damage on you because that's just not gonna happen you're gonna be good I'm gonna show you how to be good if you're not good already multi hit master which means 15% more damage so you're you're already looking at 115% damage dealt uh, which means when you upgrade it you probably get up to 25 or 30 again so that's 130 percent damage boost on top of what you already do which is just insane <laughs> king of key this will reduce the amount of key you pref you use when you use your super attacks so this is pretty good in my opinion not just 10 percent you actually get 20 percent reduced key so z or magnet acquire again trash do not upgrade it just leave it as it is and then auto kaioken this will stop you from losing health every time you go on Kaioken mode as well as um, your Super Saiyan by upgrading it you get up to Super Saiyan 3 or whatever form uh, your character may have by pressing R1 since I'm on Goku right now I can go to Gohan so as you can see Auto Super Saiyan on Gohan Vegeta Auto Super Saiyan on Vegeta Piccolo Auto True Namek Infusion um, which means no key drainage and Trunks Auto Super Saiyan, which means no key drainage again. Therefore, just make sure you max that out if you want to use Super Saiyan 3. And you, you will turn, basically, after each encounter, in the beginning or at the start of the match, Goku or whichever character you have decided to put this Z-Soul on, or passive ability on, 
they'll turn into Super Saiyan straight away. And I'll try to make a reference to that as I play on this video. You guys will see. But yeah, now I'm gonna show you guys the passive abilities I have currently on for you guys to be able to perform this. I play with Goku because he's got the most powerful transformation as well as Gohan. But um, my Goku has the most abilities and the most overpowered stuff at the moment than any other character. It makes sense since he's the main character anyway. So um, I just play with Goku. So now these are the abilities you're gonna want. 40% damage dealt to any enemy that's lower than you. Obviously, remove this skill. Take it off if the character, if you're fighting Bonyu and she's um, much stronger than you, and put something else. So, for example, when you stun her, when you stun her, you wanna, you're gonna wanna wanna put this one on, um, because I know for a fact at that point you probably will not have all these um, passive abilities unlocked. So just put anything that will deal more damage, guys. You guys just gamble around and play around with this, but do not put Umbrilled Power because this will reduce your health over the course of the battle if you do not, um, if you equip it. And if you do not one-shot her, you will die eventually because, you know, she will start, she will begin to use Ginyu Force and then Ginyu Force is annoying and you'll eventually die and it will just slow down the process of this grind. So, therefore, do not equip it for now until you're much higher level, like 10 levels ahead of her. Then you can put that one on and just, you know, and just spam Kamehameha with your party and you'll wreck her in no time. Alright, but for now we're gonna keep it on because, you know, I am much higher level than she is. Therefore, I do not need to worry about dealing, I mean, losing losing damage or dealing damage on Bunny. Again, perfect harmony, as I said before, make sure you get this on. Auto Kamehameha transformation, that's all I have. I don't have Super Saiyan 3 because I need materials, as you can see. Damn it. Kaioken, I could use Kaioken instead of Super Saiyan 3, but, you know, Super Saiyan probably deals more damage than Kaioken, that's for sure. So, yeah, I, I'm, I'm like, struggling with the materials right now. This is what I'm talking about. Make sure you use whichever character you guys main in the game and upgrade this passive ability to max. Like, as you can see, King of Key, I still haven't maxed it, but I maxed it out on Trunks, because Trunks, I was using it more. Um recently because um, someone requested for a combo video for him which will come out very soon uh, during the week this week um, so just make sure you upgrade your main character to max on this auto super saiyan transformation as you will need to um, use it for bond new grind so yeah um, other than that guys um, you're gonna wanna put the other Z so I hate when that takes you back straight away king of key as it reduces the amount of Q you use in battle Battle instincts. Any enemy that's lower level than you, again, remove this if you are currently lower level than Bonyu, and put something that will deal more damage. And uh, yeah, and just you know, and just put this one back on as soon as you are one level higher than Bonyu. Okay. Now, brick wall. This is pretty much turns you into a a Broly. <laughs> so basically, you do not flinch when you when you get attacked or when you get hit, which means. Every time you go surge mode, you will literally not flinch when, when Bonyu hits you or any character hits you for that period of time, for the period of surge mode. Um, I use this myself, I used to use it against Bonyu because before I was much higher level than her, I couldn't one shot her in one go. So I just used rage, well surge mode and combo her ass to death. And use a lot of Kamehameha, use a lot of combos to try and defeat her. I don't really like spamming that much, but I do it whenever I wanted to um, level up faster and I'll show you why uh, I mean I'll just show you guys self medication again because she hits me even though I have super armor because also she'll have super armor um, I, I heal myself well the auto heal activates and it triggers and I gain health over the course of the battle therefore she can't kill me but she's still taking damage and I'm still armoring through everything she's dishing at me which is good so and then multi hits which means after 15 hits or more, you start to deal 30% more damage. So you're looking at 30% right here, 45%, uh, and then you have 85%, uh, and then 125% damage, guys. That's the amount of damage you're looking at. And if you take these ones off, you're probably looking at more, but at the same time, you'll probably lose uh, damage here because, you know, they're lower level than you. And if I want to go crazy, 
I'll just take off brick wall and put unbuild power and I'll one shot Bonnie in no time like she'll just bre look at me in the eye and she'll be dead like Hakai you know what I'm saying um, if you want to go crazy you can up it to 165% damage almost triple damage you're looking at right there so it's just insane make sure you put these on and you guys should be ready to go now another thing you guys are gonna want to look at guys is the item so what is actually gonna double your uh, experience point gain so what you're gonna want to do guys is make sure you hit uh, go on food on cooking make sure you speak to master Roshi before you come on there uh, make sure you clear your training grounds with every character speak to master Roshi and he will give you a lot of these you can also get these um, by destroying towers in game so by doing for example let me just show you an example right here uh, actually why is it taking me to the map instead of like let me see oh no it just takes me right here but I need to show you what I'm talking about um, you can get that mass boost or mega mega mass by um, destroying the enemy base uh, towers and everything like that so let me just show you what I'm talking about you can get those by destroying these things and that and um, you know like the red ribbon army base tower or freezer ship all that stuff okay now let's go back in capsule corp and um, once you take that in you'll get the the XP boost gain for like three minutes plus 50 percent so I'll do um, plus 50 percent so right now I'm gonna show you also another thing you guys gonna need to do is make sure your community is focused on training this one right here you guys can go ahead and take a screenshot of this and try to copy it these are matched so that they gain more which is why I have an empty space here that I don't even need to use if I take nap off it'll probably go down as you can see but um, you get a whole one space here for you guys not to be worried about even on Balmar as well as you can see and um, this one I need to work on but I don't really care about this I would say training right here this is very important as it gives you key recovery more HP and recovery if you're using any more items but for those of you that just want to XP and level up as fast as possible you just want to focus on this so make sure you go ahead and take a screenshot as it will give you battle XP plus 100% Basically, you're getting 200 battle, 200 percent, um, wait, 150 percent EXP boost with the item that you're about to take. So right now, I'm gonna do one fight with Bunny so, and show you how much you XP ready to I get. Your training? And then, um, I'm gonna take the Mega Mass boost item on Goku, so you guys can see what's up. So what you're gonna wanna do, guys, is make sure you equip the following. Limit Breaker Kamehameha or any Kamehameha you have, that's the most powerful one. So Limit Breaker is the one I have the most, well, he's the one I have that, you know, um, most powerful one on Goku. And then on, on Gohan, my, my strongest beam is Limit Breaker Masenko. And on Vegeta, it's Super Final Flash, of course. So what you're gonna wanna do, guys, is literally start off the battle against Bonyu, and as soon as you go in, Goku's gonna auto transform and so will everybody else. And what you're gonna wanna do is use Kamehameha with all of your party. Really, that should have ended. That battle should have ended the minute Bonyu died. But like, as you can see, it's a straight leveling up. Like, you literally just level up after each fight. Almost after each fight as um, it gets harder and harder as you level up. But like, again, you're getting a lot. Do you see how much XP I got there? So let me just go back. Let me just do this again. I can tell this is going to be an easy so, to there you go. That's you're done. You this is what happens what you when you're higher level than her. But Come if you're lower on, level, buddy. you'll still do a lot of damage. But no make sure you just do the one that's easy for you to do. Um, well done. So we got like... Wait, I didn't even see how much freaking XP we got. Damn it. I'm more than ready to fight you. Alright, let's just actually check how much XP. But as you can see, every time I defeat her, somebody levels up. I'm not supposed to be struggling like So we got four thousand I mean uh, almost four million or four hundred and something thousand XP. 
Uh, now I'm gonna take the Mega Mass boost. You guys are gonna see how much more XP I'll be getting. I'm taking level 5 because that's the one with the most amount of XP gain. And now you guys so, are gonna see how much are more you XP ready to begin I get. Your training? Check this out, guys. Probably like 500 or something. No way in hell I misread you this badly. That was pretty much the same. I don't understand why. Perhaps it's the max amount of, of the XP I, I should be getting. Really? Normally it gives me way more XP. I'm not sure why is that. No way in hell I misread you this badly. I'm not sure why well I, I didn't get much more than I normally do. But um normally it gives me way more. Maybe after a certain level, you just get the same amount of XP regardless of what item boost you're getting. Which sucks. Yeah, I'm literally getting the same amount of XP I got like 10 hours ago. <laughs> so um But yeah, when you're lower level guys, you, you do get as you can see like I'm already level 160 and that took like what not less than a minute so you could literally max your character out in a few hours like maybe uh, I would say like an hour or something of just grinding and uh, you gotta make sure you can kill them in one go though like if you can't kill Bunyu in one shot you need to do the lower level one okay and um, yeah guys that's basically it now I'm gonna show you how to defeat so, Bunyu with one character if you just wanna, you know, fight her for fun or something like that. What are you doing? So what you're gonna wanna do is, again, pick Goku. Because my Goku is the strongest one for now. Because everybody else is um, not as strong. But what you're gonna wanna do, guys. I'm gonna show you how to deal with Bunny against all of her attacks. So, she likes summoning things, right? So just don't worry about everything. Just worry about her attacking you. When she does that, just do L2 square. Just keep attacking, keep attacking. Whenever she teleports, whenever she like starts doing super armor stuff, that's when you want to worry about. Now, now you want to worry about this. So now you're going to want to do Dragon Fist. Do Dragon Fist and that will take her out of it. She's going to want to summon the Ginyu Force. And they do it again. Until she stops summoning the Ginyu Force. Just look at her. Oh uh, man, I didn't do it. I did it too slow, so it's still summoned. But normally, if I do it fast enough, she won't have time to summon the Ginyu Force. So yeah, guys, just gonna make sure you watch out for her Ginyu Force summoning, and you should be okay. And just keep fighting, keep fighting. Again, if you see her about to summon the Ginyu Force, just uh, knock her out with your Dragon Fist. Just stay still, just look around. That's all you gotta do. Aw, oh, man. She really should be dead already. I've got no key, I'm getting myself whooped. I just wanna kill her so I can move on. So I can show you guys what you gotta do. The Ginyu Force. I have to do this again so I can show you guys what you have to do. But, um. As soon as she enters that, um, as soon as she enters the, what do you call it, the super armor phase well where done. she pushes you back and you see like steam or clouds or things. So right here, just gonna fight her. Now I'm gonna try and beat her down so she doesn't use any support. I dodged it. Again. Just try it. You're starting to get on right, right here. You're gonna wanna do L1, L1X to do Dragon Fist, because that's what I have it assigned. If you see her trying to do it again, yep, she's gonna try and do Ginyu Force again. Do Dragon Fist again. If she does it again. Oh man, she did it again, but anyway. I killed her before she did it. Um you do Dragon Fist again. However many times she does it, if she keeps doing the summoning. Which basically she teleports backwards and then she does that animation well where she 
pulls their arms to the side and summons the uh, summons the the squad um, and she'll just summon the Ginyu Force and when you're lower level that thing is tough it, like, it's, it's really annoying they just paralyze you all the time and it's annoying as hell so what you're gonna want to do is just like continuously do Dragon Fist until she stops eventually she'll do crushable and you'll go in and do a fist fight with her and just you know just whoop her ass um, guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video that's basically it that's all you need to know about grinding and getting faster level in Dragon Ball Z Kakarot I'm currently practicing my combos with trunks and things so uh, yeah eventually we'll do a combo video for each character and uh, yeah guys thank you so much for watching my name is GBG if you guys like this video make sure you like subscribe stay tuned for more Dragon Ball Z Kakarot videos Take care, guys, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace. All right, guys, that's all we have time for today. But let's stay connected by following me on Instagram and on Twitter. Also, if you enjoyed the content, make sure to hit that like, subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. Take care. Mm -hmm.